Parallax Tiny Tutorials. Blockly Prop allows you to play audio files, WAV files in particular, using the Propeller Activity Board with the files stored on an SD card and mounted on the board. To do this, you'll need a speaker and start by searching the Parallax site and find the VHO360 speaker. It is product number 900-00018 and then get the ActivityBot speaker amount, uh, which is product number 725-32905. Then go to learn.parallax.com, go to the audio section, and pull up the part on WAV files and how to do that. All the blocks are explained thoroughly here and how to use them. Next, go to the sound library reference section, and when you move to it, not only will it have a bunch of audio WAV files that you can use already located here, but it'll also explain on how to use a WAV file player to format the WAV files properly. The software you'll want to use for recording your WAV files is called Audacity. You can find them online and download that piece of software onto your computer. When you open Audacity, it'll look like this. What you'd like to do is open up the tracks, say Add New, and you're going to record a mono track your rate of recording in Hertz wants to be set at 32,000 and once you've recorded the file you'll then come over and you'll export it as a WAV file. When you do that you'll clear all the little settings and save your new file with a name that doesn't exceed eight characters. Next let's go to Blockly Prop and write some code. This project is called Blockly Prop Wave Play. When we open it up, you can see that the comment says that that's the name of the file. It's project number 51940 and is shared publicly. Now let's look at the code. First thing it does is beeps the speaker, pauses for a second, and initializes the ActivityBot 360. Next come some of those Wave Play files. They're available under Audio and under Wave Files. The first one sets the volume and I've set it for a maximum of 10. The next one plays the file called clockwise, allows a second for that to pause, and then it rotates the activity bot in a clockwise fashion. Pausing another second, then it plays the file called counterclockwise, allows a second for that file to play, and then rotates the activity bot in a counterclockwise direction, again pausing one second after that, and then finally playing the file called Wave Easy and pausing for five seconds to let that file play. It then stops the motion of the wave uh, of the activity bot and then stops the wave files from playing. With the audio files loaded onto the SD card and the VHO 360 speaker mounted on the activity bot 360, we'll now run the code. This is what it should look like. Record your own files and give it a try.